this in more detail. What are the trends right now and what are the signs for the future? We're joined by uh, Karan Virvani, who is the Chief Executive Officer of WeWork India. Thanks so much, Karan, for taking the time. Uh, you know, you clearly seen a recovery in residential and uh, you've seen a recovery in retail spends as well. Uh, but uh, signs are saying that uh, we are only just about s uh, starting to see a recovery in the commercial space. Could you give us a lowdown as to what is currently happening? Sure. Firstly, thank you for having me today. Um, as you rightly mentioned, you know, um, as we've come out of the sort of second wave um, and even prior to the second wave, we had already seen signs of recovery. Uh, I think the commercial space at least the flexible space providers are seeing the recovery first with a lot of the smaller uh, startups, SMEs, Indian corporates uh, actually making their way back to the office. So today, you know, in, in a WeWork where I sit, we actually have a lot of people back in the office, um, you know, and, and um, fully sort of embracing the office again. Um, and in the commercial space as well, if you, you know, understand what's happening with hiring across all of the IT sector uh, and also the growth of uh, you know some of the uh, local Indian businesses, uh, these companies have grown immensely and hired excessively over the last eighteen months. Um, and so the demand for office space is there. Uh, it's very strong. Uh, we continue to see both on the traditional side and on the flexible side um, uh, traffic coming back. And this is not just India specific, I think it's global. Uh, and if you look at some of the office REIT uh, stock prices uh, and things like that, you will see that there's confidence in an office first strategy uh, ar across the world. Now, clearly, based on what you're seeing, uh, the signs are good for the space. Uh, have they re has demand reached back to pre-COVID levels? And uh, uh, where do you see it going from, from this point on? Yeah, upwards, I hope. So if you see uh, in the last two quarters, uh, you know, the Q3 and Q4 um, is very strong. In fact, stronger than pre-pandemic levels. Uh, last month at WeWork, we, you know, did about three hundred, uh, three and a half thousand uh, deaths worth of sale. That's almost like two and a half uh, lakh square foot of leasing. Uh, and so that's a month on month sort of number. So, you know, we over this course of this year, we've done over a million and a half square foot of of leasing um, in, a, in a flexible environment and for a flexible offering. So we actually see that the demand is coming back much stronger than it was even in 2019 or early 2020 um, with sort of like a, a big energy coming back to the office and everyone realizing that uh, the strategy moving forward is an office first hybrid strategy. So there is definitely a change in the way the office uh, is being looked at, but um, the office continues to be the place where you build culture, collaborate and ideate and actually, you know, run your business. And, and, and that's what we're seeing happening across, um, across the country. Sure. But Karan, are there particular sectors, maybe IT, which has really been the first of the law to offer that matter, essential services like banking and financial services, which are largely adopting to this model? Or would you say it's pretty much across the board? Actually, it's been very surprising. So, you know, pre pandemic, um, only a certain section of companies were actually looking at flexible workspace providers as an option for the office. I think after the pandemic, it's now every single company, whether you're a you know, 100 year old company or a company that was formed five years ago, are considering uh, uh, flexibility as the way to move forward in terms of the office strategy. The first few people to come back have actually been your startups, SMEs and the MSMEs. Uh, and the Indian corporates. Uh, the M uh, MNCs are still waiting on global pullback to the office, but we see that, you know, at the start of the new year or by January, uh, they will be coming back pretty heavily as well. A lot of them have mandated people back now to the office. Uh, we've already started to see leadership and, uh, and also a few employees actually come to the office and operate out of the office. Um, and one interesting trend has been the decentralization of the office. Uh, in the sense that, you know, people uh, giving employees the flexibility to work out of different locations rather than just come, you know, to one location. Um, and that's a trend that we see moving forward as well.
Sure, I get that. Um, also then Karen wanted to understand whether it's spelling into 100% occupancy levels for um, you know, providers such as you. You know, surprisingly, actually today where we stand, we've actually sold uh, and we have our occupancy higher than we had in March of 2020. So the recovery has been very strong. Uh, the physical footfall itself and in terms of people actually coming into the office is still kind of ramping up. I think, you know, uh, we have about 20 to 30 percent, um, you know, footfall in the buildings uh, as compared to pre-pandemic levels. But what we're seeing is people taking uh, you know space uh, at least for two years a year moving forward um, so that kind of demand has come back we've been able to do a lot of new sales uh, and slowly slowly you're seeing sort of people even trickling into the office there are certain uh, pockets like you know uh, certain places in Gurgaon, Outer Ring Road in Bangalore, uh, BKC and some of the hotter office markets in um, in Bombay as well where traffic has come back very heavily. Pune also, uh, uh, buildings in Pune almost very full. So there are pockets where people are actually you know coming back almost 100% but if you look at it across the entire portfolio I think they're still you know uh, still ramping up and, and as we enter the new year I think everyone will be back into the office. Good morning, Karan. So you've given us a big gist of how people are going back to the office and of course to, uh, to WeWorks and, and co-working spaces. The question is, and you know, you talked about the interesting hybrid model. Can I ask you what you will do to make sure that uh, you remain a preferred choice when it comes to co-working or for all of those organizations which may have even given up office space but need to start reconvening and they say let's begin with the co-working spaces yeah i think uh, that's a great question so what we've been able to do over the pandemic and over the course of the last four years as we've been building out this business is to be able to provide different products um, for different companies uh, or different products even for the same company and moving out of out of the pandemic what we believe is going to happen is that companies will not adopt just one form of working style which is a central office but will have multiple styles of working uh, or provide their employees with flexibility across the ways of working um, and so we've been able to productize uh, you know from moving from almost a, a daily pass or someone being able to come into a space just for a day if they want to get out of their house or if they're traveling uh, to what is now being called sort of like the managed office product which is multi-year leases a uh, very large space uh, where we do all of the capex and we actually manage the end-to-end -end solution so at WeWork what we're trying to do is actually be the platform that can provide multiple products under one umbrella uh, to an organization so when we see a large IT firm or a large BFSI firm looking at space um, there are certain sections of the employee base which are permanently going to be in the office uh, there are certain sections of the employee base that might be working from home predominantly but need an office when they uh, require the infrastructure uh, meeting room space or, or etc but there are going to be a lot of employees in the middle which are kind of shifting between home and office um, and we have the the product, uh, you know, to be able to provide that to them. And I think we're the only one of the only players across the globe that can do it at a uh, at a global scale. Um, and and that's really the focus that we're you know sort of like getting into. And I think we're one of the only platforms that actually can um, can do all of the uh, all of these things for a single company across the globe all at once. Those are some of the new products uh, that we are coming up with. Now, WeWork had, of course, opened a 15,000 square feet uh, new space in uh, Nariman Point. Uh, Karan, you know, next time you're here on ET Now, the question I'm going to ask you is that if the demand so strong and we, the reverse migration we saw, has it been good enough for a WeWorks India, for example, to look at co-working spaces in the smaller towns? If you talk about hybrid, not everybody's going to be coming back to the metros and the bigger towns, right? But that conversation we will leave for another day, should always leave something for another interview. Thanks so much for joining us today. For now, we'll take a yes. short commercial break.